So as part of the preoperative workup for all patients who have bad uncontrolled heartburn or refractory to medical therapy, and patients who have bad uh, hiatal hernias or what we call periosophageal hernias, the workup includes several different things, one of which is the endoflip um, and the Bravo probe placement. The endoflip is a catheter um, that is surrounded by a balloon. Um, the catheter goes into the patient's mouth, down into their esophagus while they're asleep. So first, what we do is um, we do an upper endoscopy, which is just a camera that goes down into the throat and down into the esophagus. We take some measurements of the esophagus, and then we mark them on our catheter, and then we advance the catheter into the patient. Once the catheter is in and the balloon's in the right spot, we fill the balloon up with some uh, sterile water, and then we measure the pressures within the esophagus and the motility of the esophagus. We also get to really assess what we call the gastroesophageal junction, which is the valve uh, responsible to prevent heartburn. So if there's a failing valve, we would have very low pressures or high distensive bleeding indexes. The nice thing about the Endoflip and the Bravo technology is that we can do them on the spot at the time of the endoscopy. Bravo capsule is a, a wireless capsule that's implanted temporarily into the esophagus uh, during an endoscopy. Uh, this capsule or device helps us record and uh, put objective data into what people are feeling. Most people do have reflux occasionally. Uh, people who uh, have reflux uh, more often than once a week uh, would be candidates for endoscopies um, to, to look at the anatomy. Also, people who are uh, older than the age of 50 who've had reflux symptoms for more than 10 years or have red flag symptoms, which means uh, weight loss or trouble swallowing or, or signs of GI bleeding, um, would be candidates for, for an endoscopy. What we know and what the data shows is that prolonged and uncontrolled heartburn can potentially lead to what we call Barrett's esophagus, which is a precancerous um, disease of the esophagus that can lead eventually without treatment and surveillance to esophageal cancer. Sometimes it's very hard for, for patients to, to really put into words what they're feeling and this really helps to objectify that. And I also think that it's, it's a good add-on or a good tool for, for our surgeons uh, with the, uh, you know, the anti-reflux type surgeries uh, that, that are now being performed here.